see our way inside. to the tall grass. Why? Because the uh, getter was going to kill the man if I did not. I see the cart. Lord, how much one is the debt that you have bestowed upon yourself? One, which in turn you have bestowed civilian. because you work under me. Sixteen and a half silver, sir. But it is only on me. You will only fall on my head, master. Yes. Sixteen there. Flank, left. I understand that you want to do what you think is the right thing for me, but this type of Destruction. Where? You are going to have to work very hard. Civilian is distraction. Need to signal. Do not apologize with words. Apologize with action. Must break. Away. You're a good man, but do 
not let it get you killed. It is a terrible shame that Gradia mm. does that to many of us. <sighs> yes, sir. Is there anything else that you wish to be taken care of, dear Sophia? I will see to the men of my usual. Just. Take this and continue your patrols. Make sure that I don't get any more unwelcome surprises right now. Because I am telling you this. I am really fucking pissed at that kid right now. Yes. Alright? I understand. I came here to deal with... Done. I came here to deal with my problems and to help... <laughs> My business grows Where'd he go? Problems. And he is yes. going around Bin Yor. taking other people's bets. Does he think that he's going Old. to get 16 and a half silver out of nowhere? No. No. He's going to come to me for that money. 16. That's yes. We should get you inside, Lord, and you can enjoy your evening somewhat. I am sure your lovely yes, lady is hopefully. <sighs> yes, hopefully. Because, honestly, at this rate, I do not see how my night can get any worse. Smoke. All of a sudden, in the night, the two of you would begin to see a glow begin to come from beyond the walls of the vineyard's sanctum. The sky would begin to light up, and amidst the darkness, you can see the outlines of smoke, pillow, uh, plumes, and clouds beginning to grow as fire begins to engulf one of the vineyard storehouses all around you. You begin to hear shouts coming from inside the vineyard's interior. The bell is rung of alarm, and immediately the noble begins piling out of the manor, rushing as guards shout for help and for slaves and servants to attend to it. Old. Wait for opening. Me, snuff, light. Wait for an opening. Do it. Hold. That's what you Rolling progression, Clifford. Row with a six. You begin cracking away with the crowbar, but you find one of these casks is bolted with a steel rim. Shit. Kyle's gonna try and snuff the uh, lantern once this is an opening. Understood, rolling. Tyler, as you go to snuff it out with a critical one, you see the Lord is back. This is the so... Hang on. Sorry, say again, I'm I couldn't hear. Oh. <laughs> He, with a neg with a natural one, the you'll snuff out the light, but the Lord will see it at the same time. Okay. Affirmative. Yeah, sorry, I, my shit was. <laughs> shit. It's us. Rolling progression, row. Come on, come on. 
you begin to make headway and you are able to open up one of the casks, but you see that it's empty. What is there an empty cask doing on this shipment? Kayla's going to throw a rock down that way at these storehouses if he can. Understood. In between all the product. You hear a sound to your left, guardsman, clatter against the back wall. Cask after cask, you begin to open Oh, and you begin to see ones that are filled with rich wine. And with whatever means you can, you begin to make preparations for them to spoil, with leaving as little of the trace as possible. All around you, you hear the clatter of plate and steel. Repeat. Can I get a perception roll, see if that uh, coffer is in here? As you look around, you can't see it yet. You're focusing your tunnel visioning on the casks and barrels. Understood. Running out of time, friend. Eventually, you're able to successfully ruin half of the stock. Final roll for progression, Ro. With one peek, you're able to see a chest full of silver. However, you're not sure if taking it will alert them to your presence or not. This is not supposed to be an overt sabotage job. It is your decision whether you take some or not. There's a coffer. Can we take it? You're not meant to know that this is purposeful. We're trying to make them look bad, remember? Up wall. Up, up the stone. Uh, yeah, the, the wall. Make it quick. Rolling. With a nine, you throw the rope over and the grappling hook catches. You have scarce little time, Kyler. Uh, up he goes. I don't have climb wall. <laughs> yeah, we don't oh. have climb wall, so we're just gonna have to go around. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and follow. Yep. Do I go too, or? Yes, with the ten, you're able to successfully scale the wall. Shit, yeah. You pull the rope behind you when you're done. No. Oh. Seems to be nothing, as the rope is pulled just before the lights, your torch's light can touch it. Go. 
That will come out to a total loss roughly 37 gold worth <laughs> destroyed. Quite a little terrorist you are. Right. That I am. Scattered to the wind. Every center of the same. I will talk to you about payment later. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You as well. I'm sure you can lead us to it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's it's the pod. Having a fun evening? Eh, pretty quiet. What about you? I've been here with you, of course. Nice and quiet. Mm. Right. How are you today? Heard you went out on a mission. <sighs> yeah, just fucking orcs. Though a friend made me realize I really shouldn't be wasting my time with mercenary work. I could be doing much greater things. Making much greater coin. I heard you bought the uh, Akka for a gold. Surely mercenary work is beneath you. I did. You. Yes, I flexed on every fucking noble in this town. Didn't realize I was friends with such high rollers. Not anymore. After that, I'm flat broke until I figure something out. Mm. No drugs to panda. A joke. I haven't done that in weeks. I would hope not. That is something you are definitely above. I'm you. What of me? There's still a long way to go, but... How are you? First steps tonight. It's been a fucking day, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I've been dealing with fucking children all day. I'm sure you've... I'm sure you've heard, uh... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs>
Never a dull Who moment. That? Someone in the Imp Armor. Hmm. Hmm? There's a skunk on the roof. That there is. Can't quite make them out. They look like they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, just making sure you're alone. That I am. As alone as I can be, I Everyone suppose. Everyone is up in a tizzy about Torty. Why? What did she do? She asked Venora why her hair glows. Fuck's sake. Did she do this publicly? Yes. And Miss Venora was out in the public. As I said, dealing with the fucking children. Only so many times you can tell someone not to fucking put a target on your back and they do it anyway. Wolf has told me her sentiments. She does plan to kill her if things go wrong. And I will not stop her. She, Torty is in bed with that Inquisitor. I don't trust either of them. This is smart, yes. What do we do? She's a young, stupid fucking drow. Again. I don't want to see her die. Children. There's only so many times you can say, don't fucking put your nose into other people's business and stop spreading secrets before they... Why? Why would she do that? I have to believe it's incompetence and not malice. Because if it is malice, then she has been no playing way she a lot could of be us. malicious. Yes. Yeah. She'll be strung up if so. But I don't... You might be strung up anyway. I don't think that's it. Hmm. It's unfortunate. She was such a good ally. Why do they always fuck things up? Something, something, loose lips, something, something. Is there an anime girl in my medieval fantasy RP? There we go. How handy. Uh. I'll catch up with you, okay? See you around. Alright. Well, do you want me to inform Hawk or anyone else? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you see anyone we I know, don't think he realizes that. we can see him. I don't know. Okay. Very well. Later. We should play along and pretend not to. He's smart. Let's keep it that way. Mm. You guys hear about the blood splatter? They would know. Blood splatter? Yeah, there's a big old pool of blood next to the apothecary. No bodies. Bunch of blood. Nothing else. I need to go. A moment. There's a lot of people there and they are trying to figure it out. And the owner. I'll catch up with you two later. <laughs> Uh, she's at Vezran's. Interesting. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? I, I don't even know what I just saw. Uh, no. I, I went over I there. All covered up. They're trying to figure it out, too. I assume it's with the friend that is, um, mechanical of nature on the rooftops. I think he went away though. Which one, the small one or the big one? Not the blue one. And that is worrying. Not the safe one. And eventually, yeah. And everyone seems to be wandering the streets just fine. Maybe a specific action. What you might want to know about that. I think there's a, there's 
maybe. Anything else exciting happening? Just a quiet night for me. Hmm. As per usual. That's good. Hmm. And you? Not getting into trouble? Usually someone dressed like this gets into trouble quite frequently. Uh, well, normally, yes, not of my own volition, but um, doing okay tonight. No trouble myself, just watching. Smart. I've done my good deed for the day. I feel dirty. Relatable. Hmm. I think I'm going to steal her seat. Because I wish to sit now. <sighs> We haven't talked in a while. Mother. Not for a hot minute, yeah. You remember the knots that I taught you? I remember how to get out of them. <laughs> uh, the people running all of a sudden. Did they find something? Mm. <clears throat> It might be time to take to the rooftops and see what is going on. Care to join? Uh, I'm not letting you go up alone, that's for sure. How uh, very kind of you. You hear worrying, fucking Rondo. I usually do. Okay, good. What is happening at Basil's place? What is happening that bit? Why? What? Oh, the fucking debt collectors. They better not be. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot let that happen. Hold on. Do no. um, you, you want to maybe? It's not going to be what we can do about this. No. Um, we'll have some men come on here and try to find out what happened, but. You can inform Marco if you want. Yeah. You'll see a, a large round puddle of blood. Possible maybe a her. patrol come by here more often, just for a short while? Yes. We'll have that happen. Thank you. Are the I imps really not watching over it. the docks like they said they would? They've been running around in a bit of a tizzy, actually. Something, something they'd say. Something's going on with them. They also, only care about what happens in their area. Correct. I don't think they care about our portion of the dock. We kind of are on the end. Do you know anything about this? No, I've been out and about. I only so just got back. Were you told about it? I heard that there was a big blood splatter found outside the apothecary, and I came over when I heard that. Yep. A okay. Any idea? It just showed up one day, and is everyone who works here accounted for? I was for? walking by and noticed it. I think so. I haven't seen O'Shawn, but I'm sure he's just working. 
He has some sort of new cure he's been working on for something. Some sort of illness. Huh. So he's been nose in the books. Sounds like him. Hmm. You want to try to, like, poke him. Maybe he's home or in the study or something, just in case. Yeah, um, I can do that. I have no and idea where he lives or anything, so. Much better than I. If you do see more of something like this, Sentin. let us know. Yeah. <laughs> We could ask yeah. Silvervane if he uh, had a debt collection incident here. He has been on a spree today. Apparently, there's stuff That'd happening at Basil's idea. residence now. If you want to swing by, saw some commotion by the work marketplace. Wait, what? Make sure everything's going legally. That's Silvervane's specialty. Do everything legally, but he's going to be an asshole about it. <laughs> I love those kind of people. He's just up there working. Okay, good. Good. It seemed to be resolved. Let's go ask Silverman. Miss Basil was uh, refusing to pay, and uh, he got a little violent. Great. That's horrible choice on her part. Let's go see if he's still there. Uh, I just want to let Don't you give know me that look. That's all it was. Just checking. Ryder might be around town, so just... Is that what this is? I, That's what they I think. I don't know. Okay. That's what I think. I yeah. We heard what sounded like him by the tavern, but none of us could see him. Okay. Well, you know the drill moving. Now all I can and... think of is just like... <laughs> yeah. He's okay with me? As terrifying as that is. Hmm. Huh. I had a very friendly conversation as I shit myself before. <laughs> Makes sense, actually, considering. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's Wait, nothing else oh, here. I'll give no. you guys to it. Get me if you need me. Finish that sentence, considering why. I know nothing. Sorry. Uh, Thank you. Nothing. Don't worry about it, Hopper. You fucking... Hello. You okay? Oh. Yeah, can you come in real quick? <laughs> sure. You see him unwrap his hood. Oh. Ow! That's not on. <laughs> Since I figured that she's probably going to be talking with Vesran for a while, I figured I'd drop these off. Alright. We can... We have a couple of vases. We have some vases. Oh, vases. Right. Put them in the vases over there. 
All right. I'm also going to have to be cautious as well, as I forgot to tell you. No, technically, you have questions for me that you never asked this morning. I got fucking caught up. We can talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. The only thing I can tell you now that I assure you... I didn't say it directly that she was. Mm. I played it dumb. Didn't know what he was talking about. Didn't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you about it tomorrow the and wood elves, figure it out. The Wood Elves got me involved. And apparently the Wood Elves said that there was two. <clears throat> Great. Okay. <sighs> Just one thing after the other. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll figure something out. And put this by them. Yeah, and you just say small bag. It's not an explosive, tea is leaves. it? <laughs> explosive tea leaves. Check it. Clever. I would never see it coming. <laughs> what is it, boy? What is it, boy? Huh? What's in there? What do you got? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, but let... you didn't hear that. Anyways, uh... <laughs> long story short, <clears throat> Harry is now on the watch list. Great. That's why I'm um, oh, shit. around in my armor now. Got it. What do we call you? It was Aaron. 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 Got it. Yeah. Right. Guess where we have to go? Where are we going? To the person we're supposed to be fucking guarding, Marcus. Come on. Fuck. I've watched her walk around without guards twice today. The spirits, you know? Yes, and it's pissing me the fuck off. Oh, also, I have things to report to you. I guess we can walk and talk here. Mm-hmm. One, and I'll whisper to you, Strider is out and about on the rooftops. Yes, I heard. The details of that. Second thing, there was a pool of blood by the apothecary, but no trail. Heard about that, too. I hope that had gone somewhere, but I guess not. Thirdly... It was a, I guess, merchant who, or a debt collector, who tried to collect from Basil, tried to shake her up. We intervened. Clifford paid in some 30 cents. Don't know what that's all about. There's just a puddle of blood. Doesn't go anywhere. No other traits, no other body parts, nothing. It's just blood. Um. And you have Hello. Don't get on that side of it. Hi, <laughs> right, is uh, the person I'm supposed to be guarding in here by any chance? I heard she was. Second, yes, that. Come here. on in. I'm right, right here. We've darling. got a ransom, and if you want to see her again, here. you uh, got to give oh, me a compliment. Hello. Oh. I'm heavily guarded. My <laughs> hero, my savior, my priest. <laughs> I went looking for him all over, and you disappeared. <sighs> I guess I take <laughs> after my lord. <laughs> Someone I need to English. try to find, or at least persons related to them. You talking Anyways. reminds me of an issue that's that uh, I have. Uh, but sorry, oh, go on. Stranger, but well, so the end of it finish. was this: How when I went back to the deal. The potion seller was there, and he gave me a warning. He said, "What you just did, just if you thought you were a son, now you just alerted yourself to half of probably all of Gradia that you exist." <laughs> mm. Well, Ooh. I suppose we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you for the update, Dan. Or as you would put it, I forgot another thing I'm supposed to tell you. When we get there, mm? we'll never live that uh, down. Uh. uh all right. There's a Go bunch ahead. of uh, then... there's a bunch of slavers outside of town trying to nab people. By the way, 
What? Oh, God damn it. Can we go kill them? Did you tell the guards? <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't legal. Know the deal. All I know is that somebody, uh, a dwarf, managed to escape them, got here, got incredibly drunk. They, at one point, he said they specifically were looking for, you know, ex slaves and stuff. But, you know, it sounded like they were kind of just nabbing people in the fog. So, Did you tell the guards? Yeah. <sighs> I told him to, and then all of the other shit happened, so we kind of got distracted. Marcus, so we need to here. tell the guy. Mm. Okay. Alright, Cade, now Should you're okay. He fucking slams the door. <laughs> Ooh, not that one, though. I'm supposed to try to find someone, anyone related to me. Sergeant, I wanted to make you aware of something. Oh God, is there another thing? <laughs> if you haven't okay. already been made aware. Hey, how do you think I feel, motherfucker? Apparently, <laughs> there's a group of slavers outside the city that are attempting to nab people. Don't know if you've been made aware of this. Oh my god, okay. So, uh, got it. Well, they're nabbing people, so... I don't know. Uh, do I'm gonna assume the... not. Do you know if the people they're nabbing have, uh, bronze on them or anything? I don't know. There was a dwarf, apparently, that got away and came here, got shit-faced drunk. And I asked the person who told me this if they told the guards this, and they said, I don't know. I told him to tell the guards, but I, then other things happen. So now I'm here telling you, just in case. Huh? Yeah, I didn't hear I anything about it. I won't tell you who said that, but... Anyway, mm. if you need anything... I feel like I might know based on how... Very astute, Sergeant. It. That's why you've got the stripes. <laughs> anyway. I hate that I know that. Okay. Just letting you know. There's something else, but I don't want to discuss it here. I'm still finding out more about it. I'll get to you when I have Sure, fill me in when you, when you can. Yeah, I trust you. Um, All right, you too. I can't say this. It has to do with Imperials getting strung up in the forest. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's never, never a dull moment. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, and you know about the you you know about the pool of blood, right? Welcome to Nodis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just yep. Yep. <laughs> and we got nothing on that. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> God, I love this city. <laughs> Stay safe, you two. Let's go find Mary. Also, uh, you oh, should be aware. Bar. There also is a. Uh, I don't know, have you, have you been made aware of the, uh, serial stabber that's been going on? <laughs> I have now! Okay. I'm not there you go. Be careful at night. You don't think that's tied to the blood pile? You, need him, you, can find him you know what? You're a guardsman. It, you can it, handle no. this. Good luck. It happens in a different... It's, it's been happening around the, uh, Stabber's alley? Stabber's what? alley. <laughs> people, people are getting stabbed in Stabber's alley! <laughs> Who I'm gonna go string myself up in the forest. <sighs> it would appear the absolutely not beardless one. Struck a basil in the no face. Idea. I heard something about debts. 
Uh, evening. Where the fuck have you been? Hey. Where Fighting orcs and doing work in the morning. Yeah, that takes like Marcus half the day. I was busy. Yeah, he did. All right. Let well, me catch up to speed. Well, I'm, I, Random pool of blood outside the apothecary. No idea how it got there or anything like that. There's Imperials well, apparently okay, being strung up in the else. forest. That's a thing too. Um, there's slavers lord, outside the forest. And they're just, trying to, to take kidnap people. Let's go, let's so, and there's no way let, we can let, deal with that. We don't know if it's way, legal not or not. And open. apparently there's more people getting stabbed in Stabber's Alley. Who would have fucking thunk it? Who would have fucking thunk it? I, I heard about the Stabber app. I would- I- I heard about the stab or hourly thing. I'm not surprised Also, about the we might be that, fucked. Be so, oh, Basil got hit by a debt collector as well, uh, so that's something. That's fun. You uh, if you want to check in on her, because I know you two are close. I didn't see it, but apparently that happened. Let's see, what else is going on? Uh, apparently, I heard whispers there was a fucking fire at the fucking vineyard. That's fun, too. Now we're not gonna get our wine to Dwinky uh, Dwink. Anyway, so while you were out fighting orcs, what that's what we've been fucking doing. You're not supposed to leave me, Tiberius. This shit happens every time you leave me. You left me alone, and everything alone? everything <laughs> fell apart. I can't. I have you. You know I need to work sometimes. I missed oh you. I missed you can blame the redards. I'll blame the fucking orcs. Yeah, fuck it. Blame the redards along with everyone else. We'll blame the fucking redards. Blame the Redards. It was their contract. <sighs> you would see a chair see missing something? and a pile of wood on that wall. <laughs> All right. You see a an, an un, uh, you see a partially corked bottle of wine. That's a little bit drank. <sighs> I think it's like you need this. <sighs> it's, it's not set on fire? <laughs> no. It's not. Do you know how many times I told Venora today, <clears throat> don't leave the house without a personal guard? I told her that twice. Oh, I, do, you uh, know, yes. do you know how many times she left the house without a personal guard? <laughs> At least twice. Also, right. apparently okay, Torty asks out in the open, oh. Venora, why does your hair glow? <laughs> Just to catch you up, buddy. Right. <clears throat> okay. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. All right. Let's start with Basil then. Who hit her? A debt collector, apparently. Um, debt collecting has been rife today. I don't. They're on some sort of power kick. From what I heard, they went to talk to Basil about a debt. She said, "Lol, no, get fucked." Um, Apparently she got hit at some point, and apparently uh, Clifford paid it off in full. You sure you don't want to go check on her? As much as I would want to, your father has given me some very particular orders regarding that. Oh, you got told <sighs> off? Quite so. Ah. In regards to making sure the... I am not a, um... Courting the surgeon's wife, to say the least. Okay. So, it is probably best I don't go. Okay. Right, moving on. I'll, um, swing by on your behalf then, at least. Just see how she is and I'll let you know. I would have shut that. Of course, man. Thank you. Right, next. Mm. 
next course? What was the next thing that happened? There was a pool of blood found outside the apothecary. No one knows how it got there. No one knows who it's from. No sign of it going anywhere. Everyone there has been accounted for. Mystery blood. Maybe uh, an injured, injured tendon trying to seek medical help but didn't want to go to the Imperials? No trail of blood going in or out. Just a big... Mm-hmm. It's like someone just exploded on the spot. What time or of the day? Nighttime, recently. Nothing oh, could happen then. No blade marks of the sort? Not that I could see. Gashes to the door? Guards had a look at it, said there wasn't anything they could do. Mm. Right. Well, that could mean a lot of different things by lots of different people in this city, I'm afraid. Yeah, no real way to narrow it down yet, unfortunately. Just something to keep on our... Thought in the heart. Everyone is safe. From what I heard... It was a prank of some sort. Terrible prank, considering there are apparently Imperials being strung up in the woods that have been found. That's a little tidbit that got to my ears from the sergeant. No yes, idea I what actually that's got about. some information regarding that as well. Really? Yes. It's regarding those radicalists I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. Seems I know where their camp is now. <clears throat> Just off, apparently, north of the Shrine of Ashara. There is a camp set there, and that's where they found the body. Okay. Apparently they're planning their attack on the tavern soon. And... And... Unfortunately, the person I have been looking for is trapped. Options. I give you options. Flex Ash on you, like. Oh, please, please. He's having Marcus, the worst day today. You got her from me because I'm about to fucking. <laughs> I'm just. I'm kidding. Hey. This poor lord. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I, if, I, if, if, if he, hey, I can still <laughs> massage real good. Remember, I looked at her left her tapper. My lord, you really shouldn't turn up such nice, pleasant offers. It's, it's very demeaning to the woman. Don't make me put you in the pot. You know what's demeaning? Mm. You know what's demeaning? Mm. Me asking her what? simply. Just to not go anywhere without any personal guards, and her ignoring me thrice. That's fucking demeaning. Was that is a very good this, point. I was this it. I was, that is a, well, I was it. But I had. I was in company of friends. A lot of friends that had a lot of weapons, like Cade. The point is not to be surrounded by your friends, <laughs> but the house. Okay. You have people who want to steal you away. <laughs> Your friends aren't going to fucking die if you fuck this up. I will, Arn will, you will, the Baroness will. Yeah. You need to Probably talk me to us. I'm an association at this I, point if you get me well. killed, I'm killing this motherfucker me, first. I'm I'll live. Oh, yeah. Now, I'll kill you before, before you leave. <laughs> Damn it. I'll make sure you. You string me up in the woods, alright? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll I'll string you up, you string me up, and we stab him together before right. we kick off. God damn it! <laughs> While you're strung up? <laughs> it's called before we dr- jump off the chairs, clearly. If she right. ever tries to do that again, Lisa, I want you to fucking put your spear through her leg. It's for her own safety. I'll put you in the pot again. Okay, fine. 
Don't pout. I wanna be in the pot. Don't you pout at me. <laughs> Fucking head up to you. Fucking shit. I, I see the cheek inflating. I see. <sighs> so, Tiberius, tell me more about these imps that have been hung in the woods. Huh? Quiet. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what you walked in on. Yes. Congratulations, your timing was impeccable. I would love to hear about this. I'm going to sit down. <sighs> That depends if you all can keep your mouths very quiet about this. Oh, you know what? Lisa. Oh, yeah, you still... You are, you are a question. <laughs> oh, Lisa, oh, how did the conversation go with uh, Sarah? Did you you literally right told away? an Inquisitor you knew somebody associated with X group. It's a very common name. Go on. <sighs> right. Once more, this cannot leave... A small circle that is already we there. We talk soon. You talk, female, drow, said, right, angry. So, this radical group that has been making headway recently within the city. They are ex-soldiers, knights, and sellswords to the robber baron. They had split off before, from him before the final days of the siege, apparently. These are men of skill and know what they're doing. They've set up a camp outside of the sit, outside of the Ashar Temple along the coastline. Outside the camps are, unfortunately, effigies of Imperials strung up and stuffed with straw. That's pretty metal. Morbid, to say the least. <clears throat> Terrible. Within it, they have a prisoner of an associate of mine. You have actually know them well, I guess. You've met him a few times. During training. Unfortunately, my friend Shakar was taken. Oh my god. Great. What do these pros want? They want chaos. They oh. want the Imperials out of Gradian oh, Land. blew up the ship, huh? Uh, so no. Um, from what I heard, it was what some strange group of radicals. We guess <clears throat> different group though. So no, not the same group. Though I'm sure they'd get along. Yes. Probably, yeah. maybe. But. They... Oh, that's my train of thought. Sorry. They want to <laughs> sow chaos. Yes, their targets are the removal of the Imperials and the death of the Barons. And to be honest, they're attempting not to hurt the people in between, but to be honest, I don't think they wouldn't mind doing it. To a degree. Great, anarchist. They claim they all have righteous goals. They're all individuals who have been hurt by the barons or the imperials, family lost or targeted or completely destroyed. Oh. They can't... I'm worried about if, if they were ever to join up with Balarno, that would be bad. They are close by. So that is a threat. Said so, Tiberius, is there anything we can do about that? Would you think? From what I hear, they also have cavalry at their disposal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they have an approximately, at least in this camp, around 20 to 30 men. Who's to say they might have another? Hmm. That would explain why we weren't attacked by cavalry attacking Telor Keep. 
if these uh, breakaways from the road mm. are... Unless this is another... They wouldn't be able to be able to take all the cavalry. Mm, if it was a small really... group that's separated. <clears throat> also, Lord Earnhardt, that makes me also worry about the refugee camp that's close to Tiller Keep. Uh, have anybody... Has anybody checked on them? We haven't been able to, but you're right. We should pass the line. Definitely send There's a, a refugee, camp. refugee camp. Yes, for the robber baron's men's families and friends and people who were sick and injured. People mm. who didn't want to be part of the war. We should probably check in on that. It's just past the keep. We should. Yes. I'll put it on my to-do list. There's that. Also, are you aware of this random explosion of blood outside your apothecary? I wasn't even near there. I just heard about it just a few minutes ago. We There's were all a, in the yeah, shop. Big pool of blood. No idea how it got there. No idea and who it was. We no trucks. No sword marks. No, well, uh, Torchy says she was hearing the clanking on top of rooftops and stuff. We think it might be Strider Oh, so it's Strider. Could have been, yes. The question is, who did he kill? Everyone's accounted for that we know of. So but it's just the elves by themselves. Possibly. Um, Plus the murder of three farmers, apparently last night. Yes. Uh, also, what's this about fucking Torty talking about your hair? She had asked me, is it unusual for my kind to have glowing hair if I was unusual or sick or anything like that? It's like, well, I mean, it's just like your eyes. You can see in the dark. Yeah, some elves have quirky... Different but she asked this out. Say, she's going to get us killed. Yeah, no. No, she, asked, just... she, she, she asked in my shop alone with just me and her. Oh, Sir Tiberius, she's been a liability. A couple months now, we kind of just shoulder. On top of this, she's been getting the liability is really close with this Inquisitor. Yes, yes. Close is putting it mildly. And this Inquisitor has been asking about maidens. He's honing in. We can't have Torty fucking that up. Okay, so he's what social engineering his way into getting all the info he needs. Everyone fucking says he's different, he's, he's different, blah blah blah, but I heard he did some pretty fucked shit the other night, so I have to believe that he's... <laughs> like, the process to become an Inquisitor is fucking horrifying. Which you, you have to understand, do? an Inquisitor spans most of their lives killing, yes. destroying. I tell this to these people, and they go, no, he's different. <laughs> What did he do? He said just like that. Yeah, I won't get into it. Anyway, well, he's honing the in. the past couple, so, yeah. I'm talking to Harry tomorrow about what he said, or alluded to, but didn't say. I... If his focus is the grove, your people will become in very much in danger, very quickly. Apparently he already knows about the grove. I don't know if he knows where it is. No, he's been... And one job of an inquisitor no, is to he, find he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows where it is. He knows exactly where it is, because he's been hunting that green-horned beast that he accused the grove of making, and, and El's been trying to defer him away from that. She's been doing her best to run interference with that. That's why we talk so much, because she only... I can feel her. I try to ignore it. I don't get into her business, but she's been on hunts with him. Within the forest, oh. killing things. Cool. I don't know what for, but I don't... So Tori and El. Al says she has it handled, whatever that means. Yeah. She does. Yeah. You do not simply understand the mind of an Inquisitor. No. You cannot comprehend it. You can't allude to it. They are individuals who prioritize their own goals over anything else. They slaughter men like butter against a flame. We've been there. You're preaching to the choir. I don't... 
None of us know how to reach her or Tori or anyone. I can't. I want to talk to her about it, but I just can't because she hates everything about the Grove now. She loves me as a sister, yes, but she doesn't <clears throat> want to have anything to do with our culture, our life now, anything ever since she's lost Jensen. I've kind of stayed yes, away from her. I was talking to the Inquisitor before that. And so is Torty. I've had several conversations with Torty. So is Gerbom. So is Basil. And she refuses to, to listen to us. So at this point, we just have to treat her as a potential informant. Don't tell her anything. So, right, we break off from Torty here. So, okay, all right. It means information to the individuals should be limited extremely. I won't, I won't talk to her candidly anymore. It might be too little too late. You may speak to her uh, can candidly. I, I don't see a problem with that as long as you don't s s pass anything relevant. Just specifics. Yeah. Okay. If you start acting differently suddenly, it would only draw attention. <sighs> we are teetering on the edge here. Right. Shifting focus then of these individuals. There's not much we can do now. What was next that you needed to inform me of? Uh, there's a bit more stabbings, but I mean, that's just fucking Nautilus, isn't it? Crime never like ends. Stab his alley. I don't know about coming here. Threaten me and on. What? A noble? Mm. It's mm. from Coricatus. Powerful. Is it the one from uh, Coricate? Oh. He's got connections. Noble Basically, from Coricatus. told us to keep our nose out of shit. What the hell is he threatening you for? I put my knife on him. He didn't even care. Ah. Uh, old. What was his name? Theodora? Something like that. Mm. What was his uh, standing? He's half in, half out of the criminal world. So even if his standing is small, mm. like a small lord, he knows how to run the underground. My guess is I stepped on someone's toes while doing my political shit while Arn was away. They haven't taken too kindly of that. There's a couple I can think of, but we need to find out who fucking squealed. I've got my people looking for it. Uh -huh. There's also the possibility of... No offense, my lord, just a new nobility rising through the ranks. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it's a fucking insult are... to him. He said so. Uh, that would do it. Oh, crap. Traditionalists are always something to be afraid of. <sighs> what, someone who worships the old ways? Hmm? Uh, in noble societies, it's quite common for those to value tradition over all... Um, in many cases, uh, any introduction of new nobility is usually uh, scorned. Say the growing pains to new nobility houses is very, very strong, especially to older countries. Hmm. I've seen quite oh. a few noble houses that rise up to be destroyed within about a few, uh, within the decade. Right, we were expecting this, right? At least to a degree. This family has connections. Oh. He could wipe us the fuck off the face of the earth. Easily. Mm. How, how should it be done? Uh, I need information. It's quite simple. Not just that, my lord. You need to make yourselves... unremovable. Uh. The people, from what I hear, and soldiers and whatnot, have good opinion of the Earhart House now. 
We need to keep that momentum up, maintaining a good relations with the people and increasing your standing with them. This may sound slightly dark and morbid, but they did lose their champion not too long ago. It wouldn't be hard to replace them. Thus, if you are good with the people and the soldiers, the nobles will flaunt to you as well. You'd think that'd be the case. You don't need all the nobles, but if you had a select few of those who are powerful and self-righteous, the more nasty ones, well... We just keep them cl close, but far enough where they don't stab us in the back. But I have to ask, my lord, what was the situation that called you to draw your dagger to him? <clears throat> he cornered me in my own fucking house and started threatening the household. Telling us to keep our nose out of mm. things, otherwise he would remove it. I wasn't gonna let someone do that in my own fucking house. I believe it was Tesney, my lord. Yeah, well, he got his fucking answer. Sorry, I wasn't here. I was having a bell. Right. I worked my fucking mm. asshole okay. to get out from under the boot of people like him. I can be a fucking lord, and yet I still have someone's foot on my fucking neck. It infuriates me. My lord, unfortunately, the way the surface is, even below, the world always has someone that is a larger snake. Mm. You have to survive and toil the world and treat the world as a means of survival, but also a means of growth. These individuals, fortunately for us, don't last forever. Just takes time. He is now stopping the this whole reason we're here. Mm. Then we merely prepare. Right now, he probably underestimates us. No offense to your actions, my lord, but they were barbaric in nature. And he'll probably think of us as such, and that will be our advantage. Our minds will be the key in this battle that is to come. And our words. So, my lord, back straight. Head up. Be proud you defended your house. I'm going to bed. Mm. Okay. Oh. Have a good night, my lord.
There's a pot there. I can kill him. He's too connected. I can gun him like a fish. I could too. He's too connected. And he knows it, and that's why he didn't care when I drew my dagger on him. Everyone around us teeters on the edge of fucking extinction, and I'm desperately trying to stop people from falling off. And despite everything that I'm doing, they just keep pushing against me. How the fuck am I supposed to shepherd people? What am I meant to do? <laughs> I can't cut them loose because they we're all fucking dead. I told her twice. Don't go out without guards. I watched her. I watched her be separated from everyone else. I told Marcus to stay with her. I had to go tell Sarabeth what Dory did. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome to my life, every day. Do you really still want to keep doing this? Being a lord? What else can I do? going back to the fucking streets as much as they want to pull me back in. <sighs> I have to do this. I want to do this. I just wish people would fucking listen. I wish people understood the gravity of the fucking situation. I wish people heard when I spoke. <laughs> wish people would stop toying with things that put people's lives in danger. And then being all, oh, dee hee. We get through so much through fucking luck. So many times I tell people not to do something and they do it anyway and they get through only because of luck and then they say, oh, it worked out okay. Hanging by a fucking thread here. Do I need to be the asshole? You sound just like me. <laughs> yeah, probably. If Dory screws this up, I'm killing her. If Harry screws this up, I'm killing him. If any of those wood elves screw this up, I'm killing them. And I'm dead serious. Get to the bottom of things. I'm 
not one of your knights or whatever. But you are my brother. You need something done. You know I've got you. My hands have been bloody for a long time. I'll kill whoever I need to. What I want is people to fucking listen. They get to do their OT here. I'm gonna walk my way through the day, not caring about everything because of you and I looking after them. I'm tired of having to shepherd them into safety, <laughs> despite them constantly fighting me. should go inside. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit for a 